So, you've just found out that your partner or your other half you've just met is a medium clairvoyant or spiritually gifted. What do you do? <laughs> I'll give you some clues and I'll guide you. So, I'll see you after the intro. Greetings and welcome to my video. My name is Jay, I'm from Karnak Elysics, where we learn together and we grow together in the science of God. Now, if this is your first time to see my videos, welcome. If you're revisiting this video, and welcome back to you. Anyone who's been watching my videos and my development, um, good to see you again and um, happy 2022. So, today I want to talk about love, but I'm going to do it from a different aspect is what I spoke about on my video, my early video um, at the intro. I want to speak about, so you've just met someone and you really getting on well with them. And I want to talk about love, but I want to speak about this person's spiritual. Now, everyone's spiritual, yeah? Spiritual means that we all have a spirit within us. So we all have spirit within us, yeah? So that's not an issue. What I'm talking about is practicing spiritual people, shamans, witches, warlocks, clairvoyant mediums, tarot readers, all those types of people. You've just met this person and you don't do anything. First time you've come across it, but you meet this person and it's the first time you've come across them or anything like this, but you really are into them. First thing is, more than, more than likely they haven't put a spell on you. Let me just make that quite clear. They haven't put no spell on you to make you fall in love with them. That just doesn't happen. Second thing is, it's just they're just normal people. They may have a different um, gift from everybody else. They're more attuned to spirit to spirit than that's probably you are. But I believe there's a reason you're with them, whether it's to further your own awareness or whether it's just because you like that person or you're coming to your own. Don't be afraid of it. I'm going to give you a few tips what you shouldn't do, right? And again, and this is a disclaimer at the bottom, unless they say it's okay. First thing is, do not ask them for a reading, right? That's nothing worse. I hate it. Literally, 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 literally hate it. When someone meets, oh, I can get a reading whenever I want. No, you frigging can't. It doesn't work like that. If anything, we won't read for you because we don't want to know what's going on with you, unless that's how they are. Some, I know some of my friends who are in relationships and they read for their partners all the time. I used to, but it's not saying I made a, a, um, a task to do. I didn't do like, oh, it's six weeks. No, I have to read for you. But well, let me just make this quite clear. Don't rush into anything when it comes to you telling them, yeah, I want you to read for me, blah, blah, blah. Because remember, they will see things. They may not tell you or they may see things that you might not want to know. And if they are good, they will tell you. So be mindful. I saw a lot of stuff in my relationship right at the beginning that I did kind of say and some of the things, even when I was in my 19 year relationship, that I knew about the breakup which was coming, even knew who she was gonna end up with, um, it happened. So again, be mindful. Second thing is don't run around telling everybody, I'm with a clear, my, my person is spiritual, they do this, that and the other. They may, unless they tell you it's fine to do, have that conversation. Have that conversation with somebody, yeah? Because they may not want you to tell anybody just yet. Not that they're ashamed, they just don't want to hassle, you know? Because we live a kind of quiet existence. I know some don't, I'm kind of talking about me, but I can hear my guys going, yeah, but they're not all like you. So I'm being quite mindful that you get a lot of, though we're on YouTube and we talk about stuff, sometimes in our private life, we don't want to be badgered by friends or girlfriends, friends, or partners, friends, going on about, can you give me a reading? Because, say for example, you read for somebody and it's their, your best, your partner's friend, who that person, your partner, sees them cheating in the reading. You know, what do they do? So be mindful. Some people say, yeah, it's best that they know. Maybe it's best that they don't know. Um, I don't know, depends on you. Um, the other thing is, if you are staying with them, right, 
and they saved I'm, I'm talking from a medium point of view let me explain between the two the mediumship and clairvoyance yeah a medium um, a clairvoyant is people who predict the future yeah they can predict the future tarot readers things like that they can see the future mediums can see and talk to spirit so they can think to see dead people basically and they can also predict the future so mediums can be clairvoyance clairvoyance are really become medium so be mindful if your partner says i'm a medium then we're in another we're in another ball game we're playing in another field than if you're clairvoyant clairvoyance will normally be talking about things coming up premonitions feelings energies and things like that they would feel see and sense yeah however i'm a medium when you're medium you see things in the house yeah so <clears throat> spirit for example may arrive and talk to your partner and your partner be talking to the spirit kind of like they're not always standing talking to us it wasn't the case i used to disappear onto the terrace and talk to my guys when my other half was there um but makes sense. i would just go outside and talk to them and then she would know i'm in conference with them and then goes well you just spoken to them he goes yeah and they go sometimes i just needed that space um so also other point is things that move around in that mediumship the medium's house yeah you will get guides that arrive you won't let me just explain something before i go on about this other part they won't let you come to the house unless they like you yeah so if you if your partner is a medium and they let you come to that and stay over they like you yeah and they and they will probably have a conversation with you about their house right don't it's not like um you know that the monsters or adam's family you don't get like things like i don't know some weird things going on in the house but you do get um you may get flashes you may get orbs you may um see shadows you may hear noises and stuff like that. So be mindful. Um, I don't want to frighten you because it's like, it is really beautiful because living with a medium, and I get a lot, I get a lot of that from people who go, you, your life must be amazing. Your home must be amazing. You will find like a lot of us would have crystals around the place. We'd have symbols around the house. We'd have ornaments around the house. We may have um, other hidden um, kind of like inscriptions and stuff for protection. Um, you may find that they're really religious about how and what you do when you're at their house. Respect that because it remember one, it's their place. Two, it's also the place where they communicate with their spirit guides. Um, the other aspect as well, I'm just getting a flow and allowing Athena to speak through me because uh, she's the one who said I need to talk about this. So the other aspect is that you... They may go away to retreats a lot. So I would advise go with them, experience it. Um, I believe you're there for a reason. I believe that you two are connected for some reason, whether it's on a spiritual level, or maybe you to aspire to, um, aspire to be on that level as well. Maybe they need to come in alignment with you, you know, because um, sometimes we like to be away from um, that kind of life energy. So, um, yeah, it's really cool. It is really, really awesome. Other aspect I want to speak about is they will try to, un they will understand your life. They will more than likely understand how you are living because most mediums have had a gift all their life, but they are aware what people, what people are like who don't have the gift. Yeah. So because they would have worked with the people for, other people over a period of time so they would have understood they may not understand and the other thing is well they can switch off okay so just because they see and hear and sense spirit doesn't mean that they walk around 24 7 doing it sometimes i just switch off and i just try and be me other point is they don't i i don't do it i don't do readings to see where the relationship's going um, I try to live a normal life as possible. So I try not to use my gifts when I'm working with my um, anyone I meet who's new. So it's been very rare you see me pull a couple of cards or I normally get, I sense it. I sense if I'm to be with a person. So anyone who I've been dating, um, 
And they go, oh, did you sense anything in me? And I'm like, no, I don't sit there sensing you like you like a scan. It's my feeling. It's just, if I'm sitting with you, I'm here for a reason. And because I trust you, you know, if I'm not with you, then I won't be here. So, and that means I don't trust you in that sense. Um, if we want to take it a bit further, that means that they want to allow you into the inner sanctum of their spiritual life. And they know that you're prepared for that. So they would have... Let me just let me tell you something, yeah. A medium or clairvoyant would have done the work and would have checked to make sure that you're okay to handle their lifestyle and they can handle yours. So be mindful that they haven't just gone, oh, like, let's get closer. For the sake of getting closer, they would have analysed it and checked it over to make sure that you guys will be compatible, yeah. So while you usually think you meet someone in a bar, wherever, club, um restaurant wherever online um knowing that we would have done about five six checks to make sure that we would have been compatible to even get to know you purely especially telling you what we do because it's not something we kind of like shout about and some of us do um but i'm not one to keep shouting about it i'm um, a lot of the time i've known people for six, three four years and they've not known what i do because i just surely don't talk about it to them um but other people really close to me know what my life is like and when i'm going ups and downs so be mindful um the other aspect is there is a beauty in it they have done the work where you get some people who we call moguls or um, who are non magic folk. Um, a lot of the mediums, the clairvoyants and um, um, kind of like shamans and people that would have done the work, they would have sorted themselves out, hopefully, um, and would have got it together. They would have been, if you're struggling with normal people and you feel like they've always got issues whatever and you think you're struggling with these normal people and then you meet a medium or a spiritual person knowing knowing yeah normally they would have dealt with any of their earth issues yeah so there would be more together i say this not all of them so don't hold me to that majority majority who i've come across have and they are on that's why they attracted you to them so Again, whether you believe in the attraction, they would have attracted you to them and vice versa. Normally, it's that you probably, they would have called you then opposed to the other way around. So in spirit, they would have just allowed, um, they would have seen or sensed you and they would have called upon your spirit. You would have in spirit accepted and then you would have come together to be a partnership. And that's what it is, it's partnership. Whether one's gifted and the other one may not be, but there has to be an understanding. The other thing is respect their beliefs. Yeah, respect their beliefs because they've lived with this and they've gone through a lot of hell to get to this point. Yeah, respect them. Respect what they believe in, what they do, where they're going and what they say to you. And vice versa, they should respect you for what you've been through, what you've, you've achieved and what you have, I'm hoping to um, achieve in the future. So be mindful of that. Um, the other aspect is that you two are on a journey, a journey together, and it's a loving journey, and it is amazing. So be mindful that what you do when you go, how you grow, don't go for it, grow for it, build memories, not just days out, build memories together, um, and they will tap into you. Let me just touch upon sex. Sex normally is awesome because spiritually, um, a medium or clairvoyant would have done um, clearing of chakras and um, con done this whole Kundalini thing. So they would have got their energies and their chakras. If you don't know what chakras are, have a look, but I'll briefly go through. You've got seven chakras, given then your body um, and your chakras affect your aura. So these mediums or clairvoyants um, or spiritual people who would have done the work already and would have been working on the chakras, which therefore influences the aura and the aura is what you get attracted to and vice versa so knowing that they've been done they've done a work already you know that spiritually if their um sacral chakra is really vibrant and it's red that means that they've really sexually active so be mindful that 
if you're attracted to them sexually, it's probably because they're doing a lot of work around that time on that, or they're due to. So again, that depends. So yeah, I hope that's helped. Um, I may do another video a bit more de in depth about this and plan it a bit more. It was just something Athena just said I should just write um, and say. So I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. And uh, namaste.